Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the fourth E tutorial. We're going to be discussing routes. Whew. So, what is this mysterious query string that we've been avoiding for four tutorials? Well, it's called a route. And as you can see, there's GUI, CRUD, and INDEX, if you've been following along. Um, it's a module, controller, view. And I know these are kind of things we haven't really discussed too much. A module is like a site within a site, so we're in the GUI module. We're in the CRUD controller. Remember, controller just controls the flow of traffic. That's why it's called controller. And then we're in the index view. To kind of put that into perspective, if you've been following along and you made our teachers, um, our teachers, sorry, cat's bugging me, our little teachers area here, um, you can see that the route is just teachers. Well, it's because it's teacher slash index. But if you click on create, it's teacher slash create. Notice how there's no module because we're in the root of the site. We don't need a module. That's the difference here. So module, if there is one, controller, and then view. So what are these controllers and views that we keep talking about here? Well, let's actually crack open our site here. And let me close some of this garbage. Go into the site and then protected and then controllers. And you can see we have controller for each table that we built here. And like, let's say, let's just open teachers. We have the teachers controller, which extends or inherits the controller class built into E. Has a default layout of column two. We'll discuss that in a future tutorial. Has some filters, access control and post only and delete. That's pretty sweet. Meaning it's got security baked into it right from the start. And you can see that in our access rules. And we're gonna go over this in a future tutorial. I'm just giving you an idea of a broad overview of what a controller does. It controls the flow. So if we're requesting view, it does this. If it's requesting create, it does this. You know, update, does that, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a controller. A view, let's actually collapse this here, is in the view folder. And you can see how we've got a view folder for each table I should say each controller that we've made. So we've got classes, students, and teachers. So let's just bust open teachers again. And we've got a couple files here. Um, anything that starts with underscore in the E framework is typically, um, I don't want to say it's hidden, but it's not featured. It's not a main page. There's no form.php. It's called internally. And same thing with search. It's just another form. And these are included in other pages. And then admin, notice how there's a lot of golly gook. And we'll be covering these in future tutorials. I just want you to get familiar with what this is generating and what it's doing and how this relates to a route. So there's like admin, create, delete, index, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you can see how it's just pretty simple. And like uh, if you go into update.php, you'll see this this render partial underscore form. So what we're really doing is taking this form.php and rendering it right here on this line. Pretty snazzy. Now, how does this relate to a route? Let's give you a real world example here. If you go to, you can go to my website or any um, website that uses E, you'll notice these tabs across the top. Now typically each one of these would be a separate controller. For example, I have a tutorials controller and a programs controller and a source controller. And then in each one, I'll have like a view. So this is the source index view. So if I click on like this uh, C++ AES 256-bit encryption, you'll see I have a parameter of ID1. So that's how I'm loading it from a database right here. So that gives you an idea of like real world. And if you jump back into your test site here, you like manage. And when you click advanced, you notice how this magically appears. Well, that's that render partial. But we're in the teacher's admin section. So that's understanding the route. It's important that you understand how things are. So if you're in a web page or you're like, you know, your buddy's in here creating a teacher and they go, oh, well, through this error. Well, what's the route? Well, it's teachers create. That's how you find it. So routes is kind of a complex topic, but it's really simple when you just think of it in terms of it's a map. Just remember, always starts with a module if there is one, then there's a controller, and then there's the view. That's it for this tutorial. This one's a short one, I know, but we're going to deep dive into models. All right. See you next time.